Today we are talking about the 3D and why even if you're not seeing any signs in the 3D that your manifestation is on its way to you, it doesn't mean anything. So let's talk about it guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al and if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life I have always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching, go to my description box, our information is there. But right now, let's talk about today's topic. Today we are talking about the 3 day because for the longest time in our lives, we have been seeing the 3D as our real reality, as the cause of everything that we feel and we think about. But it's not true. When we learn about manifesting, then we realize that the 3D is actually just a reflection of our assumptions and the way that we interact with this world. And I know that in the beginning, it's quite a jump to go from whatever I'm seeing is the truth, to know what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking about, what I believe and what I assume about the world and other people is actually what is, is the cause of that projection, is the cause of what is being shown up in front of me because the world is always going to conform to my assumptions. And then we start manifesting things consciously because we know we can do it. When you change our assumptions, we change the world. But some people get caught up, especially in that. When is it going to conform? When is the world going to conform? When is my specific person going to conform? Where are the signs, <laughs> right? And often you really see signs of things changing but sometimes you don't so i would like to talk about exactly that case okay sometimes things just happen and especially if it involves another person it can be that you don't really see a sign in them that they are changing especially if you're not in contact okay Manifesting something sounds so magical to so many people, but we have been doing this all of our lives, okay? It's nothing that is so out there from us, okay? We have been doing that, we just didn't know. And when we learn about it, people are like, so, when is it? When is it coming? When is it coming? And we forget one thing, things happen in this world in a natural way, okay? Sometimes it seems magical because it's so fast, but it doesn't need to be this way, okay? Especially if you are dealing with something specific, like a specific person, or you want um, an amount of money and you want it coming in from that way for example winning the lottery the more specific you are in your creation the more many manifestations are necessary for it to come a full circle okay for it to show up in front of you the way you want that's why Neville used to say you know go general if you visualize go general. The more specific we are in creating our affirmations or visualizations, the longer it may take. What we see as time is actually events that has to happen. And what I said, you know, small manifestations that has to happen for us to have our whole manifestation in front of us. For example, if you are affirming, I won a million dollars in the lottery, basically you are telling the universe or God or whatever you believe in, this is what I want, a million dollars, and I want it this way, winning in the lottery. 
no, there's no problem, you can do that. But you are just micromanaging the whole thing. You could have, um, I am rich, right? I am rich or I'm a millionaire, whatever you want. And leave it open for the universe or God to decide how it's going to come to you. So it could come much easier and much faster to you if you're not trying to micromanage everything, right? But going back to evidence in the 3D that your manifestation is coming, often the evidence that we get is from this small manifestation. So we cannot realize at the moment they are happening because we don't have the whole story in front of us. And sometimes we take this as there is no evidence that the manifestation is coming in. For example, you have been affirming that you are in a relationship with someone and you have had any contact with that person and suddenly you get a text from them, but it isn't that text, oh, I love you and this and that. It is just, how are you? And you get mad or sad or whatever. But as I was telling you guys, things happen naturally, naturally. If you want to be to get pregnant and have a baby, even when we are manifesting everything in our reality, you will still need nine months to get your baby, to hold your baby in your arms. You cannot jump that, okay? So it can happen that your manifestation is all of a sudden in front of you. It may take some time to get there. So just because you're not seeing anything in the 3D, especially if you're dealing with any specific person, it does not mean that nothing is happening here, in here, with your specific person, okay? Most of my ex, when they came back, they were like, I have been thinking about you, I thought about you all the time, and so on. And sometimes I told myself, but I can never get back with you, or there were too many obstacles, or this and that. But in the end, they came back because they couldn't do anything else than come back. Okay, when you want something, it wants you too. And you have to rest in that faith. When you are doing the work, when you are working on these things, you have to understand you only need one thought, you only need one visualization, one affirmation, and that could be done. It could be done. You can have, you know, planted the seed successfully. But you also have to go to the stage number two that is allowing it to happen for you and trusting the process. If you're looking at the 3D for evidence all the time, and trust me, when evidence come in, you will know. You don't have to be on alert 24-7, okay? You don't have to be looking. You will know. But if you're looking for evidence, What's going to happen is you are telling the universe or oh God, whatever you believe in, I don't trust it, okay? I don't have it. When is it going to come? What isn't it here? And when you say that, it all has that feeling of lack attached to it. It all have that sense of, I don't have it. I don't have it. And what we are trying to do here with manifesting consciously is just knowing, resting in the faith that we have it. You have created everything that is in your reality. You can do it, trust me, you can. But sometimes you just have to be bold enough to get to a place and be like, I have done enough, it's done, it's done. This is what I want here. I'm open to it. Bring it in, right? And why, while things are working out for you behind the scenes and you don't know what's going on, you go about your life, you know? You never know. You never know. There 
to allow it to come in okay don't be so hung up on the things why is it where's the evidence why it's taking so long the less you notice those things the faster it happens it has always been like this the less i cared the less i worried about things the more i lived my life the faster it, it came in so i have really been working on mastering that detachment thing and being like I know, I know it's coming. I know it belongs to me. I know it's mine. I don't have to worry about it. So guys, I really hope you learned something from this. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel. And we're going to talk soon. Bye guys.